One could argue that art forms are separate and different because after all they are absorbed with our different senses. However, if we concentrate on what is being delivered rather than how, we see an undeniable interdependence and universality between all of these expressions. It's the color of sound. That's what I'm trying to convey. Many artists in their artistic process have different ways of being inspired. And for me, the greatest inspiration is music because that is the primordial sound. It is such a privilege to be able to showcase Erica Hilton's artwork in our Brushwood Center Art Gallery. Our mission is to promote the importance of nature for cultivating creativity, inspiring learning, and nurturing well-being. Brushwood Center is one of my favorite places to come. It's 565 acres of nature preserve. One of the most powerful ways we've been able to explore nature-inspired art has been when we've combined different art forms. Visual artist Erica Hilton has paired up with internationally renowned conductor Vladimir Kalinovich to create a multidisciplinary program about our Earth's most important resource, water. Working with Vladimir Kalinovich is not only a great honor, but it's been a learning experience for me. I'm able to take that, that sound, translate it into shape, the shape of color, the shape of of my imagination from his imagination. Erica's art and Vladimir's music are two art forms that immediately take you to a place beyond your intellect, a place where all is possible. It is through the arts and through nature that actual changes are able to occur. So, we are on a quest to expose this wonderful, natural process of creating and absorbing natural art. What is a tide? It's the gravitational pull of the sun and the moon on the earth and everything that inhabits the earth. The tide is just the prelude. Is it the rising tide of humanity? Is it the rising tide of a political movement? Is it the rising tide of an idea? a thought, a philosophy. The art, the light, the sound, these are all part of the experience. And this is something that I think the collaboration with Vladimir Kalanovich and Brushwood Center is going to expose in a different way.